have a student in my class whose parents work at NASA. One is a NASA educator, one is a NASA scientist. And when I introduced the idea of the STEAM days back at Open House, she came right up to me and said, I'm so excited to hear that. I am an educator at NASA. I'm all about STEM. I'm all about coming out and creating these exciting opportunities. When I saw Mrs. Kerr and Mrs. Blackman, two kindergarten teachers, really um, strive to bring STEM to their students, I wanted to do anything possible to support them. So the theme that we did today was uh, studying Earth from space. So anything from like eating like an astronaut, to building a satellite with an actual uh, NASA scientist, to launching the satellite off into space. Today we were engineering a satellite and what we had is a, a Lego set with uh, individual pieces that represent the important parts of a satellite, the things that all satellites are going to have. Kind of explained why these pieces were important and why they needed to go on their satellite and let them make the decisions of how to make them go on the satellite and you know, whether they needed more or less in order to make their satellite work just right. I was in the cloud observation station, which was very fun. So I had, we brought some cloud observation sheets that the students could look at. And we kind of introduced the idea of what clouds are, um, what the atmosphere is, kind of helping them understand um, the role of clouds. And so once they had that, we went outside and they made their own kind of cloud observation where they would look at one part of the sky and compare it to what they saw on their sheet and I had them point out which clouds they think they saw. So once we came back inside, I had them draw the clouds that they saw and pick out any sort of identifying features and write that down. So I hosted the Eat Like an Astronaut station. So what we did, we watched a video of an astronaut. It was Chris Hadfield. He's from uh, the Canadian Space Agency and he makes a snack. It's kind of like a peanut butter jelly sandwich, except that if you use bread, and he explains this in the video, the crumbs will fall down here on Earth. But if you would eat it like that, it would go everywhere, right? It would get into the air filters and things like that. So they use tortillas. And then he put peanut butter and honey, and then we did just that. Um, and then we talked about why are we using tortillas instead of bread. And then I had some uh, actual astronaut food for them to look at, see the size, look at the Velcro so they don't fly off. So it was really interesting. They built a uh, like rocket launcher with balloons and raced each other to see whose um, satellite went the furthest. They got to use some science tools, the infrared thermometers. They made some observations and went around and took some temperatures and learned a little bit about temperatures. The kids were having so much fun. I think that at this age it's really important to introduce these things to them and say, you know what, you guys can do it. Um, you are already doing it. These are advanced topics, you know, thermal control and satellites and weights and launching things in rockets. And they were getting it and I was hearing discussions afterwards. As a, a kindergarten teacher, as a mom of little girls, I love putting things in front of them that they might not get to experience otherwise. It really allows them to think outside the box and see themselves as somebody that could one day have a STEM career. Um, and even if it's not a career, just being interested in it, having the confidence in themselves that they can go out and explore different things in STEM.